Cardiac resynchronization therapy has benefited many patients with advanced heart failure, decreasing mortality and morbidity rates, and improving quality of life. Studies have shown, however, that around one-third of heart failure patients do not respond to CRT treatments. One of the main causes for this lack of response is suboptimal AV and VV timing. To address this unmet medical need, Sorin Group has developed the Sonar Hemodynamic Sensor embedded in the tip of the Sonar Tip Atrial Lead. The sensor measures the patient's cardiac muscle vibrations reflecting the heart sounds. It has been shown that sonar amplitude correlates with LVDPDT max, making sonar an index of cardiac contractility. Based on the hemodynamic information given by the sensor, the sonar system provides optimized AV and VV timing. Optimization is performed regularly at rest and exercise for improved CRT response. The clear randomized study compared patients who were automatically optimized with sonar to patients who were followed with standard practice in the control group. Based on composite endpoint criteria, 76% of patients assigned to the sonar group improved at one year follow-up versus 62% in the control group, showing a significant improvement in clinical outcome. A clear sub-analysis also showed a 54% risk reduction in all-cause mortality and heart failure hospitalization in the group of patients systematically optimized either by sonar or echo as compared to the non-systematically optimized patients. Furthermore, an exact confidence interval calculation shows that the clinical outcomes of the non-systematically optimized patients are consistent with the CRT arm of the companion study whereas outcomes are much better for the group of patients systematically optimized in the CLEAR study. Two real-life case reports illustrate the benefits of sonar hemodynamic measurements. In the first case, the sonar signal reflected the hemodynamic status of the patient. Three months after the implantation of a sonar system, the patient was hospitalized for fatigue and his ECG showed atrial flutter. The decline in sonar amplitude coincided with the atrial flutter episode and the loss of bi-V pacing. Sinus rhythm was restored after 48 hours of treatment with amiodarone. Sonar signal amplitude progressively increased, reflecting improvement of the patient's hemodynamic status. The second case report illustrates how a non-responder patient was turned into a responder after sonar activation. The patient was implanted with a sonar system, but sonar was in monitoring mode only without automatic delay settings. The patient did not improve the entire time when sonar was off. Five months after implant, sonar automatic settings were turned on. The AV and VV delays were automatically adjusted and sonar amplitude immediately increased significantly. At the seven-month follow-up, the patient's clinical status showed dramatic improvement with a 59% left ventricular ejection fraction and NHYA class 2. Sonar automatic settings were confirmed by echocardiography and ventricular filling time was shown to be optimal. Early clinical results show that sonar hemodynamic optimization has the potential to improve CRT responder rates offering the potential benefits of CRT to more patients. Sonar, make hemodynamic optimization your standard of care.